Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 27 October 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior online writer Cameron Mackay goes inside the Energy One Stop Shop and its drive to fast track electricity projects. The Energy One Stop Shop, which was officially launched by Trade, Industry and Competition Minister Ibrahim Patel in July, is in the ramp-up phase of a four-stage process aimed at fast-tracking the regulatory approvals required for new self-generation projects and projects that will be connected to the local power grid. The engineering news features focus on stainless steel, where more education initiatives are needed in local industry. Embedded Electricity Solutions, where a miner focuses on improving energy capacity and sustainability. And Personal Protective Equipment, where new protective pants reduce leg injuries. The Mining Weekly features focus on open-cast mining, where non-profit organization Aspasa says the sector can flourish. And a profile of Minerals Council South Africa, where nurturing skills for sustainable South African mining is imperative. This week's business leader is Skulk van der Marwe, the general manager of the Industrial Water Tube Division at John Thompson. And as this week's cartoon shows, with no sense of irony, Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mantashe continues to champion gas exploration and development while fighting internal cabinet power struggles using the analogy of the warning that mice offer when running away from dangerous levels of methane underground. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.